right, here he is, one of the best Muay Thai kickboxers on this roster, and he's often fond of saying, DC, there's no pads, there's no gloves on my knees and my elbows and my feet, and he certainly puts all those weapons to good use. Well, he feels released, right? He feels released. When he's wearing all that training gear, there are confinements. He's being confined. When he takes it all off, he has the ability to go in there and damage his opponent. He feels like the shackles have been taken off, so he throws that right elbow right across to try to cut the eye. Left elbow, big knee, and then when he grabs that point type punch, you are truly, truly in trouble because he will drive that back knee into the midsection. When you start to try to take the hip back, he will shift you. Right. Kick the foot down into one of those great Muay Thai takedowns. He's a phenomenal, phenomenal striker. And he came into the octagon with a lot of high-level Muay Thai competition and tournament wins to his credit, and certainly has gotten off on the right foot here now. All right, so here he is, one of the best boxers on this UFC roster, and if this fight was to be contested under the Marquess of Queensbury rules, it would be no contest, but we got an MMA fight here. We tonight. would be talking about a one-round fight, because right. there are no fighters in the UFC that can compete with this guy in that one form of combat. Such a great jab, the head movement. It's never on the line. He's constantly going left to right, right to left. It's like a triangle, he's moving. You can never see a stationary target in his approach. And what I truly love about him is his ability to really dig that left body shot, yeah. to try and find the liver to end fights. We don't see knockouts like that very often. This man has done this a number of times in the UFC. The sweet science. Some oh, people think boxing is simple. It is anything but. This fighter has certainly mastered it. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with big differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 33 wins, 13 losses. He stands seven feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Body out of Beaverwick, the Netherlands, Stefan Skyscraper! Stroom! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Andre. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lavin. The veteran Eve Lavin draws the assignment here. Ready? All right, so here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only step back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the strike. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the fellow. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. A couple of chins here being tested early. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double-A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike, but to be whipping like this, it only exhausts you because every moment is trying to hurt really bad. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Nice strike. That leg kick. Oh, the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, making him think you're going low and you come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Nice hook lands. Oh! 
Cruz, lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, man, look at that picture. Perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful take. Gets up again here, but hurt. Nice punch there by Stewart. Huge, he lands in the tight clutch. Ooh. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Bishop gets touched by that kick there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Nice. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, round two winding down. Hey, All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. and find its home. Nice punch there. And now he lands a combination. Oh, oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, he got him. He got him. Bishop gets back up and pretty quickly, I might add. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, he's hurt. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not control. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab. Oh! Now, certainly a lot for all replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout, Andre! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.